Looks like I get to be the Shroud. Yay. What is up guys, this is Godlike Matt, and the purpose of this video is to help you avoid making a fatal mistake like I did in regards to the Silver Shroud costume. Now at first, that's all it is, just a costume. But after a very long side quest and after taking the proper steps to make sure a certain someone lives, it becomes a very valuable armor set for you to wear. However, there is one fatal mistake you can make that can completely ruin your chances of using this armor effectively. And all you have to do is make sure that when you complete this quest, you are under level 44. That is extremely important. Sounds easy, right? Well, in retrospect it is, but let me get a little more specific. See, the way I've been playing Fallout 4 is I haven't been looking up very much about the game. I like to stumble across items and quests through my own exploration. That being said, I didn't actually find this quest until I was level 44, and little did I know that this was a huge problem. You see, what makes the Silver Shroud Armor such an awesome piece of equipment to have is that you can upgrade it a total of three times depending on your level when you finish the quest. You can upgrade the armor the first time at level 25, then again at level 35, and a final upgrade can be obtained at level 45. Giving the armor a damage resistance total of 87. Now if you happen to be let's say level 34 when you finish the quest, and you receive your first upgrade, it will automatically include the previous upgrade you would have received at level 25. So in that situation, you would only have to upgrade the armor a total of two times. Now here's where things get tricky. If you're level 45, which is the level you're supposed to be to receive the final upgrade when you finish the quest, you won't be able to receive any upgrades at all for the Silver Shroud armor. The armor will remain permanently stuck at its base stats and you will never be able to receive any upgrades for the rest of your playthrough. Which means if you really wanted to use this armor like I did, you'd have to completely start a new game to do so if you made this mistake. The reason this happens is because the game doesn't seem to register the fact that you can receive an upgrade unless you level up to the required level for that upgrade. For example, the game won't offer you the first upgrade unless you hit level 25. But if you're already level 25, you'll automatically receive that upgrade along with the level 35 upgrade when you get there. But if you're already level 45 when you finish the quest, there is no longer a level you can level up to in order for the game to realize that you can upgrade because level 45 was the final upgrade. Therefore, if you want those upgrades for the Silver Shroud, you have to do the quest before level 44 at least. The reason why I say you should be lower than level 44 and not 45 is because I was level 44 when I found the quest, and there's a high chance you will level up to level 45 during the quest since the quest is so long you'll receive quite a bit of XP so you should start the quest at level 43 at the latest if you want those upgrades now as you can imagine I was and still am extremely pissed off that this even happened to me and that I can't use this incredibly badass armor set to its fullest potential so I wanted to make this video to help you guys avoid the same problem for me personally, this really impacted my experience. When I discovered this armor, I thought it was so goddamn cool and I wanted to use it so badly and I got so excited when I found out that you can upgrade it right up until I had realized that I had permanently fucked myself out of any upgrades for the rest of the game. I had to discover this the hard way and I didn't want I didn't have anybody to warn me about this. So, consider this my warning to you guys. I really don't want you guys to make this same mistake. See, if, if I really wanted to use the armor, as I said, I would have to completely start a new file, restart my character. And the problem with that is, I have a level 40 goddamn 5 character. Like, that takes a long time to do that. It, that 
that did not come over like a couple days of gameplay. I've been playing for a while. Not to mention, I've built this character to be my main file. I've, I'm doing everything on this character. And I really wanted that armor set, when I discovered it, to be the one that I'd wear for the rest of the game. Like, I, I really loved it when I found it. And now, to think that I pretty much won't be able to use it at all, because... It'll bother me too much that there are better armor sets out there since I can't upgrade this one. It won't even compare to some of the armor that I could be wearing. And it's it just really sucks. And I'm not willing to start a new file because I've done way too much already. And, you know, I've perfectly set up this file to platinum. I've saved before all the cutoff quests before... Um, or for every faction because they all have a cutoff point before you can... Uh, like, you can't just do everyone's quests to get the trophies because um, the all the four factions conflict with each other. If you go too far into their quest line, they'll become enemies with other factions. So you won't be able to do the other factions' quests if you go too far into one of them. So I've, I've perfectly set up my file so that I can platinum in one playthrough. And I made an alternate save file. And everything's perfect. I'm so far into the game. I've done so many side quests. And... Now I'm I can't even wear this amazing armor to to enjoy this entire rest of the journey with to to platinum the game. I won't have the armor that I really wanted to wear and that really sucks. It it really does, especially in a game like this. You know, I want to play it the way I want to play it and I won't get to do that. So uh I I feel really passionate about the fact that this happened. I really hate that this happened and some of you guys won't think it's that big of a deal, but to me, this this just really sucks. And it's a really big deal for me, but... Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on how to avoid that malicious problem. If any of you guys are also planning on using the Silver Shroud armor. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, you can go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, I, I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you want to see lots more Fallout content from me, or content on plenty of other games, uh, that would definitely be a good idea for you. And, uh, as I said, I guess that's it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will definitely see you in my next video. So take care.